Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in again, hope you're all doing good. Right, today I've woken up and decided to choose violence, which is quite fitting after my last vlog. I mean, I'm not going to go out and attack anybody, but the subject of today's vlog is definitely going to trigger some people. But I feel like I've been wanting to say this for a while, so in this vlog I'm going to be telling you why I think rim brakes are rubbish and why disc brakes are just so much better. There you go. Feel free to let me know in the comments whether you agree with me or disagree with me. I'm always up for a bit of a debate, but I do feel after watching this video, you'll find it hard to argue with me. Right, let's go for a bit of a ride, find a coffee, sit down, have a chat about rim brakes versus disc brakes. Right, let's go. rim brakes versus disc brakes the first thing i'm going to put out there that's better on a disc brake is the stopping power not only is it better overall it's better all the time like when you ride in the rain on a rim brake your brakes just don't work when you ride in the rain on a disc brake bike your brakes do work and this is the thing a cheap set of disc brakes will work better than an expensive set of rim brakes on a really expensive carbon wheel in the wet it's just the truth the whole weight argument, you know, rim brakes are lighter than disc brakes. Yes, they are lighter. Does it really matter? I mean, we've got to the point where bikes are so light, I don't think people are that concerned about the extra weight that disc brake gives. The only time you'd run a rim brake, in my opinion, would be on a hill climb. And do you know why it's good on a hill climb? Because you don't brake, you're climbing up a hill. So that's when rim brakes are most useful. When you want to make your bike light, because you're riding up a hill, because you're not going to brake. Right, so this one I'm going to give to rim brakes. The setup and installation. 99% of the time, it's easier to install a rim brake than a disc brake. The best disc brakes are hydraulic and then you need like a whole load of fluid. You have to like fluid, you have to like squirt it in here and then you have to get them all set up nicely. But there's no cable stretch. That fluid doesn't really leak out. And once you've topped them up with fluid, you're pretty much set to go. It's a total set and forget thing, which I suppose takes me on to my next point, right? Where? So back in the day, people would have like a race set of wheels and a training set of wheels. And this is because they ran rim brakes because you don't want to ruin your racing wheels in the winter by riding with rim brakes. Rim brakes ruin your wheels. I mean, it's a proven fact. Disc brakes don't ruin your wheels. You know, it's a lot harder to wear through this with mud, grit and grime than it is this. You're investing like over a thousand pounds in a nice set of carbon wheels and then you can't ride them in winter. The braking's not as good. And then if you do use them on a bad day, you're gonna totally ruin them. Just seems pointless, right? Why not just ride disc brakes? that stop you better and are better. This is another thing people say, they'll say the noise, the noise of disc brakes, right? So disc brakes do make a bit of a noise when they're wet. There's a bit of a uh, uh, honking noise, but so would you rather be descending in a tight knit group, in a group ride or in a crit or in a race or a road race or whatever, in a bunch ride with a bunch of people on disc brakes where they're making loads of noise and it's like, uh, 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 but you know they're stopping or everybody on rim brakes not really stopping. I mean, I've descended on rim brakes. I started riding out on rim brakes. I've ridden my road bike all over the world on rim brakes in all conditions. And I'll be honest, it's crap when it's wet and it's sketchy on mountain descents. Disc brakes are just better, you know? They're more consistent. You can brake later. They save your rims, they save your wheels. They make everything last so much longer. Now you don't need a winter bike and a summer bike or a set of winter wheels and a set of like race wheels. You can just use a set of wheels. Like, like this whole thing, I think GCN did it. There was a whole, they had some bloke on that was like modern bikes are rubbish. And like, I think some modern bikes are a bit of a con, gonna be honest, but I don't think modern bikes are rubbish. I think all the people that like rim brakes and this like things, there's, it's okay to like this stuff, but let's just not say it's better. 
you know it's just based on nostalgia and like, i get nostalgic too those bikes are amazing are they better to ride no it's like the lamborghini what's it called the kuntash right like iconic car absolute piece of crap to drive and this is <laughs> this is the truth people get nostalgic about it and this is the same with rim brakes it's good to get nostalgic about stuff but let's not forget the fact that they're not as good as disc brakes what are your thoughts am i completely wrong have i triggered you i want to know what you think and let me know down below in the comments and then uh feel free to subscribe or unsubscribe if you don't agree with me Do you, know what? you shouldn't unsubscribe if you don't agree with me you should just subscribe and then we'll we'll hash it out and chat it out Do you know i don't actually own a rim brake bike maybe i should build one up just to prove my point it's just a bit of a short one today a bit of a one to like stir the pot and uh, i'll catch you guys very soon thank you as always for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys very soon bye